All right, we got the TRS 325S tactical survival knife, and we are gonna beat this thing up and see how much abuse it can handle. So to get started, we are going to do a rope cutting test, and we're gonna hit the back of this with a sledgehammer. All right, so we got a nice clean cut, as you can see, sliced into the table pretty deep. The edge is still, we didn't roll over the edge at all. All right, so we just chopped the rope, um, kind of an abusive way to treat the knife. Um, just to show we didn't roll the edge over, we'll go ahead and do a paper cutting test. Still very sharp. All right, guys, now we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna see if we can puncture some 22 gauge steel sheet metal. You can see on the label it is 22 gauge. This is obviously something you would not use a knife for normally, but we are trying to destroy this knife and just see how much abuse it can take. Uh, this is kind of a dangerous thing to do. This is not something you want to do. I'm wearing gloves right now, and I've got my thumb on the back of the knife. This knife does have a pretty generous finger guard, which gives me a little bit of more protection. All right, so we gave that some good puncture wounds. The tip is still intact, made it through on most of the stabs. All right, so we just punched through the sheet metal, and now we're gonna test the tip a little more by uh, driving it into some plywood, and then I'm gonna tilt the knife. This is an abusive thing to do to a knife. Uh, this is a drop point blade, so the tip is quite strong. Uh, so it, it should be pretty durable, but this is basically testing if you are using the knife roughly, you know, you definitely don't want the tip breaking off. There's a lot of things you can't do after that. So we'll go ahead and stab it in, and just tilt it. As you can see, I'm not babying this thing. This is pretty good, go back the other way. Definitely not breaking. I didn't expect it to. Uh, maybe on a clip point knife, there's a little less material out here, you might expect it to snap, or a fillet knife, something like that. Um, just goes to show the drop point design is good and the, the heat treatment on this knife is also pretty good. All right guys, we beat the hell out of this thing and it took everything we threw at it. Despite the entry level price, the TRS 325S will definitely hold up to heavy everyday use. Check the link in the description to get yours now.